Dela, Maya, Cinema 4D and 3ds Max, these are nothing but world building machines. They transform grey pixels into vibrant colourful worlds with materials, textures and living things. From rivers to lakes, forests to space, if you can imagine it, these applications can bring it to life. Of course, there is a caveat. You need to know how to use them. Some are more difficult than others and often it depends on what you're creating. Each application has its strength when it comes to world building and the possibilities are endless. So it's always likely that whatever you are working on, you will find limitations in the application you are using, a weakness you might call it. So what do you do when you find that the 3D program you are using isn't the best for what you are trying to achieve? Do you switch to another program? That takes too much work. Instead, you turn to the community. Each software has a large community dedicated to solving that program's weakness through the use of third-party installations, and extensions. Today, let's look at some of the exciting new third-party installations and extensions for Blender that will help you with world building. A weakness of most 3D programs is that rendering volumetric objects like smoke and fire takes too much time. You can leverage the power of sprites to overcome this issue. These are PNG images of smoke, dust and fire that have been put together to look like fire, dust or smoke. And the great thing about this is they are light, they can work in real time and render in real time. So you can make adjustments on the fly without waiting hours to preview what you are working on. This sprite particle pack comes with over 17 VFX presets that you can use in your scene to create fire, smoke, muscle flashes, rivers, waterfalls, rain, dust particles, and directable explosions. The pack comes set with materials that can capture shadows, light, and other effects. If you want to build worlds, you have to build them block by block. This could take you some time, but it's understood you are a busy person. So artists like Jin Yan have created a pack of more than 50 buildings to get you started. The buildings are well made, textured, and ready to be part of your world. Forests are not just a collection of trees, it's an ecosystem. Trees are just half of the equation. There is undergrowth, dead leaves, branches, buds, and more. If you need a system that can put this all together for you, this forest extension is what you need to install in Blender. It adds all the detail you need while giving you all the customization necessary to make your vision come true. It features tools like the delayed zone, which will let you carve out empty areas to place buildings, walk paths, and more. A forest distance can be hard to render if it's not well optimized. That's why this installation comes with optimization features and adjustable trees with subdivision levels for exactly what you want. If such detail from the forest extension is overkill for the type of wall you envision to build, then other trees might be the installation you need. Thousands upon thousands of trees can be rendered onto your screen without your computer ever noticing. Thanks to a simple tree this extension uses. It uses alpha textures that might not get you close-up detail similar to what you get with the forest generator installation, but alpha trees are not made for close-up shots anyways. They are meant for establishing shots where you're seeing the entire forest, where close-up details don't really matter. So if you want establishing shots, then this is exactly what alpha trees was meant for. As an artist, your greatest enemy is time. If you don't have enough of it, your visions will never come to life. We can't create more time, but we can use less of it using installations like this spaceship generator. It turns simple cube extrusions into alien spaceships, rich in detail and structure. It's tools like this that makes it possible for single individuals like you and me to produce detailed stories and animations in a reasonable time frame. Still on the topic of saving time, Nothing saves you more time like installing a material library into Blender. This one is by Polygonic and it's rich in PBR materials. These materials come with customizable parameters so that if you never want anything to look the same, you can make it possible. The installation is extended to include procedure functions that reduce texture tiling and the ability to add imperfections, a drag and drop feature and more. And for sci-fi directors, holograms are a nice touch to add to a movie. It has always been a simple way to show advanced technology in Hollywood. This cyber hologram installation comes with different kinds of holograms. They are ones fit for product presentations to show off the makeup of any products in form of blueprints and ones for projecting images in 3D space. If your movie is set in a cyberpunk future or a war-torn zone or a Soviet era or just a mix of everything, you will need buildings that that match your story. And the City Builder 3D Blender extension is an installation that comes with a number of these types of buildings. The extension comes with Prostudio tools that help you place the city automatically so you can make your own world as big as you want. While the City Builder extension has a dystopia or post-apocalypse feel to it, 
If you need a vibrant active city, something pre-apocalypse, then Cyberscape is your go-to extension. This installation comes not only with buildings, but with procedural roads and car traffic. With mega corporation offices, the installation is procedural in nature, so you can make the city as big as you want. If you already have your own buildings or trees or anything you want to procedurally distribute, then Geoscatter is the extension you want to install into Blender. It comes with its plants and vegetation library, but its power comes with its scattering tools. It's optimized to handle thousands of scatter agents, and most importantly, your scattered agents can still be moved around after scattering, a useful feature that most extensions don't have. If you have plans to have characters moving around in your scene, the GeoScatter extension also can handle object collisions, letting your characters collide and interact with scattered objects, especially useful for something like grass. Even with all these installations, you will still need to create your own custom models for the hero characters or the main buildings. This should be a fun process because making your own models is fun. What is not fun is UV unwrapping. No one ever notices it unless it's not done or done incorrectly. But it takes too much time to do. So it's necessary, it's hard work, and it takes a lot of time. Does that mean to be humble and just do the slow process of UV unwrapping? No, we are not cavemen. UV mapping can be a relaxing zen moment if you install then UV it will automatically UV unwrap and also pack them into a nice UV grid. Finally, making custom models is fun, but it's also hard work. You can turn basic shapes into complex objects using extensions like surface detail. It's light and it's easy to use. Thank you for watching. These are some of the extensions that I think that everyone should install to make their world building process a breeze.